we know how to find problems and we know how to fix the error but if we want to go if you want to go more more faster and I am going to with the course if you want to start doing new thing there is a way to learn which is a stack overflow a stack overflow is like the bible for every android developer every time that you don't know how to do a thing or that you are having a problem you can come here and probably someone has the problem before you and there is already a solution for that so imagine that we want to do something different in our application something different with the with the button imagine that for example when i click on the button i want to send an email so i come to start overflow and i search for android send email and i'm going to see a lot of different posts but it looks like this one is the one with more results so i'm going to click on this one and as you can see here you can see a lot of different answers but every answer has a, um, a score here a punctuation this is the how many people have clicked that this answer is okay so not only you have the answer here but you also have 450 people that is telling you that this answer works so normally you just choose the answer that most people have unless you are an expert and you can know the difference between them so okay we know we know now that this piece of code is sending a, an, an email so we have a method that executes any piece of code that it has inside so let's copy this into an application and when we click on the button our application is going to send an email okay the first thing that we have is a lot of a lot of variable and object that are not defined so the better, the better way to do it so you can choose the import is try to write this again so i try to write intent and then i click on it so this is going to make the import for intent for me automatically so once i have import intent all the errors related with intent they disappear okay there's another thing here that i have to also import toast toast is when you show one of these messages on android that disappear in a few seconds we will do an example with that and there is a thing here that we cannot import because this is our, a reference to our activity but we know that our activity is called my first activity so I am just going to change this to my first activity and see no problem so far I'm going to explain a bit what this is doing this is going to uh, try to, to find a, a program that is accepting uh, emails but if there is no any, if there is no email this is going to show that are not email clients installed if I try to run this on the emulator I don't have any email client on the on Genymotion or the emulator so this is going to this is going to show that message no apps can perform this action ok fine I'm going to launch it on on my real device so you can see how to send an email ok I'm going to launch it and click on the button and I'm going to show you one screenshot I'm going to select my mobile one screenshot ok I'm going to click on the button and I have the choosers here so I can choose which application do I want so I'm going to use Gmail and this is what I see so our application right now is sending an email as we can see here this is using a recipient example.com subject of email body of email and all of these things are here as you can see so please you, you see Antonio sweetups.com 
and please email me any suggestion that you have for the course. On the rest of the course, now you are self-efficient, now you know the basics of Android. On the rest of the course, we are just going to be learning, doing different applications, and in any of these applications, we are going to see different things. For example, uh, Google Maps, we are going to see how to create a connection. We are going to create a little game where we, when we are going to play with the views, with the Android life cycle, etc. So if you, are in, if you are interested in one particular thing, for example, I'm very interested in Google Maps, please tell me. So if so many students are asking me for that, I will do first that the sample with Google Map View. And if you have any problem at all, it's better if you use the, the proper browser because I will need you to send me a screenshot of the problem that you're having and you cannot add a screenshot from this application at the moment. So please, if you have any problem, just send all the information that, that you need so I can answer you as quickly as possible. And even, even better, leave the question on the, on the, course, on the course page so also other students can see the answer.